Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Hard Working Man. It's April 7th, happens to be my birthday. I just went and got some stuff done with my wife, just some paperwork, errands and whatnot, and she asked me what I plan on doing today. And I said, I think when I get home, I'm gonna drop a tree. She says, yeah, sure you are. Well, I was serious, because that's what I love doing. I'm out here in the wood yard, and it gets a little shaded in here in the summer, Stay, stuff stays a little damp. Well, I've got this oak here behind me. It's not a very pretty oak, not great for saw logs, but it'll be great for firewood. And it puts too much shade where I do all my processing here. Plus I need to start expanding out because I'm getting a lot more wood than I've had in the past. I usually just cut wood for myself and the kids would sell a little bit at the roadside stand that they had built because I told them, if you guys want some money, you earn it. Don't come ask me for stuff, you know. I cover their sports, I cover all that, but if they want to buy a video game, go out with a friend, you know, stuff like that, then you earn that money. Don't just ask for it. Don't expect handouts. So they would, they would split some wood up. I wouldn't let them run the chainsaw, but I'd let them run the splitter and they'd fill the roadside stand and they'd get the money from that. So now kids are getting older. I got one in college. My daughter will be in college next year. So I'm starting to get a little more time and I'm going to start getting more serious about the firewood as you guys have seen on the channel. And I need to expand my wood yard operation here. So I'm gonna get this oak down, just get it on the ground. It's April 7th, like I said. They recommend around April 1st is when you stop dropping oaks due to oak wilt. So that's why I wanna drop this tree today. It's a nice day out, about 50 degrees, cloudy, but it's a lot better than we've been having lately with all the rain and cold. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this thing, get some stuff moved out of the way, and hopefully I can get a clean drop on it. So thanks for watching. Let's get this oak down. All right, here's the oak I'm gonna try to drop. Well, I'm gonna drop. It just depends how successful it is. As you saw a couple videos ago, it doesn't always go perfect when you're dropping trees. Luckily, this one is leaning away from the power lines at my house, so that's not a concern today. It's just a matter of getting a couple things out of the way so I don't smash a few of my IBC totes. I've got a few more of the bladders to get cleaned up, as you can see. I've got a boat over there that I'm gonna fix up for some salmon fishing, but that's not in danger either because of the way this tree is leaning. My only concern, other than getting a few things moved out of the way, is if it'll fall all the way to the ground. There's a couple trees out there that it might get hung up in. I don't think it will, and I hope it doesn't because as you know, that creates a lot more work when they get hung up. I do not have forks for my tractor right now because I, had a set of four foot forks that were class two. They hang on a 16 inch class two carrier. And with that Coyote 73 horse, it's a lot bigger tractor than my old DK 35, which was a 35 horse. So I couldn't see the tip of my forks when I was sitting in the seat. So it was a pain trying to scoop IBC totes, trying to get clean picks with the forks because you couldn't see the end of them and you'd have to stand up and sit down and whatnot. So. I just sold those and someone picked them up yesterday because I had picked up an eight foot and a six foot fork, but they were class three. So they take a 20 inch carrier. So I won't be picking that up until tomorrow. I'm gonna drive down to Ohio and grab that. So for today's project, I'm gonna have to figure out another way to get stuff moved around. Here's the new forks I got. Not sure if I like having two different lengths. The guy I bought them from said he really liked having one longer and one shorter. I can see where it would come in handy, but I can also see where it could pose a problem. So I figured I'll try it out. If I don't like it, I know it'll take a lot of work, but I figure I can cut that eight footer down to a six footer and have two six foot forks. So that's where we're at. There's a Wallenstein BX62 wood chipper, another use for IBC tote. I just took that bladder, cut the bottom off it, and I cover that up to keep the rain and nature out of it since I don't have a pole barn yet. So I'm gonna get the coyote warmed up, figure out how to get a couple of these things moved and see if we can't get that oak on the ground.
All right, I'll show you how I'm gonna to try to move this tote without my forks today. I'm not gonna move that. That's a heavy duty, super heavy duty flail mower. I use that for a lot of food plot work, clearing trails in the woods and whatnot. I like it a lot better than a brush hog. I'll bring that to you guys using it here as habitat season rolls in. It's rated up to a five inch tree. I've never taken down a five inch tree it would have to be a softwood and the thing with that mower is you put it on the rear of your tractor and you use it driving forward so you would have to run over the tree and i'm not going to be running over five inch trees with my tractor so all right i just sort of put the hitch under the front of the tote. I'm gonna to try to get it strapped to the top of that adapter with this come along and see if we can get this thing moved. What do you guys think? Will it move it? And do I destroy my IBC toe? Hopefully not. I should probably strap the bottom in, but we'll see if that works first. bundle jig I made for the kids. Probably going to be look to upgrade into a real bundler here shortly. But for now I'm going to run the bags and run this bundler that I made out of just some steel pipe. Get that moved. Maybe get a couple of these smaller trees knocked down since I'm going to take them out anyway. A little less for the oak to hang up in and we'll get that oak on the ground. Alright, we got the Makita warmed up. I'm gonna knock a couple of these little trees down and then we're gonna get after it.
can't take my chances sometimes. I wanted that elm down. Thought I could aim it in between my IBC tote and some pallet racking that I had. And I put it right in the middle of them. Rather be lucky than good, I guess, right? We got one more tree that I'd like to get down. I'm not sure. I think it might be a popple or something. I'm not positive what it is. The problem is it's going to hit my boat. I think if it goes, I don't have anywhere to drop it. So I'm going to hope that the oak doesn't hang up on that last tree. We'll see.
And my wife's cheering for me. She just pulled in the driveway. I said my wife's cheering for me. She just pulled in the driveway. Just another tree I'm cutting down. I got lucky twice today. Really I'm learning. I take my chances as you saw in a couple of videos ago. <laughs> Doesn't always work out. Oh, oh, I was leaning out away from my log splitter. I was just more worried about it getting hung up. Got a lot of more sun into the wood yard though. All right. Those two drops today went about as good as I could have hoped for them to. I'd like to say I'm this good all the time, but you guys have witnessed that that isn't always the case. After thinking about a little more, I'm going to hold off on blocking up this tree for firewood and maybe make boards out of it. I thought because it had the lean to it and had all those bumps on it from where maybe they trimmed branches before that it wouldn't make good boards. But let me know what you think. If you've run a mill before and milled up a tree like this, should I keep it for boards or should I just block it up into firewood? Let me know in the comments. All right, as you can see, I left quite a bit of holding wood on that one. It was leaning to where it wanted to fall. Not a crazy severe lean, but I knew it was gonna go pretty early. A Little bit more level on my back cut, still got room for improvement. This one was angled down a little bit again. These big trees, I'm still figuring out. I did a little bigger face cut on this one and steered it right where we needed it to go. Gonna get us a lot of firewood. Gonna be a lot of work cleaning it up, but is it even work if you're having fun? Glad I moved the kids bundler or that would have been smoke. There it is, it's just a, like I said, steel pipe all threaded together i'm gonna make it a little smaller the bundles are a little big they get a little heavy for some people i got the middle open you just wrap around it with saran wrap works out pretty good back to the drops got the elm tree between the tote and the pallet racking and Got the oak, the tree I was worried about getting hung up in. It looks like it was made to fall there as it went right between two of the branches that would have held it up. And everyone's safe, no equipment damage. That's gonna let a great amount of light down into the wood yard. Like I said, I'm gonna drop a few more of these trees, but they're just popples and elms, so I'm not worried about the the uh, oak wilt. That'll allow me to expand the wood yard out a little bit, get more sun, more space to get the big tractor run around in here. I got a little drainage ditch over there, so I'll open it up out to that. Get this tree down. A couple more over there. There's a big maple I'll take out. Cottonwood over there. Another poplar or, and maybe a beech or birch, I mean. And I got a beech tree over there that'll come down eventually. But there it is, dropping oaks on my birthday. I guess the uh, good Lord was watching out for me today, getting two perfect drops. Thanks for watching, hardworking man. Hope you guys appreciate it. Thanks for all the support I've been getting. Like I said, as the weather gets nicer, more of the family's gonna be out here more. I'm the crazy one that'll work in any weather. You saw my boy out there in the rain. He'll get out there with me. My wife's more fair weather firewood, but you're gonna be seeing a lot more of her as summer rolls through and she's a lot of fun. She's just like one of the guys when she's hanging out. So you guys will get to know Rachel a little more here in the future. And 
I think you guys will have fun interacting with her. Thanks for watching Hardworking Man. Have a good day.